Warning, the following program contains scenes of music which may be offensive to more sensitive ears. I am the Street Sense for top consumers. With major cash from the Canadian Bankers Association. Hi, I'm Anna, and this is the first episode of a... What is it again? Right. Hi, I'm Anna, and this is the first episode of a brand new season of Street Sense. Uh-oh. Jonathan, I think we're on. Can't be. The opening theme song hasn't even played yet. Then what do you call this? Man, we are on. But I'll finish this later. Benita, we're on. I didn't hear the opening theme song. I guess there isn't one this year. Uh, but Street Sense has always had an opening theme song. I was counting on the extra time to get stuff done. Well, us too. Let's just play last season's opening theme. No, let's play the music from two seasons ago. It's a longer song. It'll give us more time. I say we should play the theme from our very first season. It'll be a special treat for our loyal long-time viewers. We don't the have any loyal long-time viewers. It's the first season. What I hate that song. I've been getting it. What are you going to buy today? Uh, I'm buying this new CD by R.E.M. Okay. Well, I'm looking for Smashing Pumpkins. I was going to try to buy the new I'm Mother Earth CD. Um, I'm just looking for um, local oh. bands. I'm really into the independent scene. Well, I just found this new, well, I'm not sure if it's a new one, but it's a Pet Shop Boy CD, and I'm, I'm into techno. MCA. Well, I was thinking of getting the new Coolio tape, It Takes a Thief, because it's really rad. It's got the best beats. In a portable CD player, I'm looking for... Good sound, and something that doesn't, um... Skip, skip, skip. That's it, and it has to be at a good price. Like under 150 bucks? Yeah. Today we're testing four brands. They're all the latest models on the market, and they all come with headphones. The RCA comes with a carrying case and costs $129.98. Same goes for the Pulsar, $129.99. But the earphones keep falling out. This is a Citizen. It costs $139.99, and it takes twice as many batteries. And the Panasonic is the most expensive of them all, $149.95, and it doesn't have a carrying case. Machine number one. Machine number two. Number three. Number four. Which machine did you like? I'd have to say machine number one. Number three did it for me. Number one. Four. RCA was the big winner with a whopping two votes in our sound test, but Pulsar turned out to be the big loser. Let's go walking. I'm a lucker and I found my classes. Lunch, 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 lunch. Blame your parents. Love, 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 down. So guys, how many times did your CD skip? RCA, 6. Citizen, 10. Panasonic, lay back 2. Pulsar, 42. And I hate these earphones. Which one is the best? I'd have to say RCA. Uh, Panasonic. RCA and Panasonic were about equal for me. But Panasonic doesn't come with a carrying case, and it costs more than all the other ones. I preferred RCA because it had great sound quality, really comfortable earphones, and it was the cheapest buy. Three out of four students agree RCA was the best portable CD player. From all of us here on Queen Street in Toronto, see ya. See ya! We've got to put that whole theme song screw up behind us. Yeah, we started off a little disorganized, but we can pull things together. Right, let's just do a beef and get back on track. We're, We're not, not the worst. worst. We're, We're not, not the worst. worst! Okay, control room, roll the beef. Wait a minute, freeze that. Who's that guy? I don't know. This isn't our usual beef intro. Uh, the show? Oh, oh yeah. yeah. We apologize for this brief interruption. Regular programming will resume immediately. Okay, control room, run the new beef intro. What's your beef? Hi, I'm Vanessa Lewis from Marlowe, Ontario. My beef is Pearl Jam. They claim they haven't sold out. 
When I wrote them a letter telling them how much I appreciated their anti-commercial stand, all I got back was this. A postcard asked me if I'd like to buy some merchandise or if I'd like to send $5 to become a member of their fan club. Vanessa, we talked to Pearl Jam's fan club, the 10 club, and it uh, inspired this song. We call it They Say. One, two, three, four. They say they're not trying to make money from the fan club. They say they get fan club is pretty cheap compared to others. They say five dollars doesn't even cover the cost of running the club and sending you stuff. Club members get two fan newsletters a year. And a seven-inch record from the band at Christmas time. Beef color 1 800 number at 565 B. We'll be online for the next two hours and it's free. What's this? Here's a memo from the studio heads. Attention, host. Street Sense is now on the internet. Really? I love the internet. Viewers can log on to and talk to each other and to us. How? When? Here's all the details. So you tried to write us a letter. Oh, drop! And you tried to reach us on our beat map. <sighs> hey, man, get with it. This is the 90s, and now, Street Sense is on the internet. Now you can talk to us directly with a computer and a modem. You can tell us about ripoff scams, hot coin story ideas, and you can join our fan club. And find out what happens behind the scenes. Chat online with hosts and other viewers. Get test results and background information from all our shows. Download pictures of the hosts and find out more about what they're like off the set. If using a World Wide Web browser, you can reach us at http colon forward slash forward slash www.screen.com forward slash streetsense.html or if you just want to write send us an email at streetsense at screen.com I know you don't want to know but it's just too bad because it's four o'clock in the morning <laughs> hey we got a postcard from Moy she's enjoying her vacation in Aruba so much she's decided to stay another six months oh great now the show doesn't have a mascot I got a delivery for road pennies. That's, That's three, three cents. cents. Oh, yeah? Sign here. What is it? Well, according to this, it's our new mascot. Well, whatever it is, it's from Africa. Here, you'll need these. studio heads. Attention hosts, your new mascot is a hedgehog named 2-Bit. Man, I'm having trouble keeping up with all these changes to the show. I don't know what you mean. I'm scared to think what's next. <laughs> <laughs> Greetings, competition. Ken? What's with the post-nuclear psycho trash look? A new image to fit a new position. Which is? Oh, that's right. You don't know about my little promotion. I now run Bico Entertainment, which means that, among other things, I now control my own competing network. Perhaps you've heard of it. Buy TV? You're in charge of Buy TV? That new channel with nothing but sleazy exploitation programming? Yes. The one with gratuitous sex and mindless violence 24 hours a day? Yes. And the one with the highest ratings in television history? Oh, yes. All those years of training as an unscrupulous weasel has paid off. I found my true calling. Successful network executive. This is too much. Isn't it, though? But enough idle chit-chat. Time for me to make an exit. Music! Open! 
Later, my little television rivals. <laughs> Close. backpack is called Interactor, and it's one of the new virtual reality products that has just come out. Get this. The manufacturers say that the Interactor will convert bass sound waves into body pulsing vibrations. So instead of just hearing your favorite music, or watching your favorite movie, you can actually feel it. But the main purpose is for playing video games. The company says that 90% of those surveyed felt that the Interactor made playing video games significantly more enjoyable. So I have assembled two teams to do a spine-tingling test. Team A. Hi, my name's Stephanie, and this is Cedric. Hey. We're game players, and we want to see if the Interactor makes games more fun. And Team B. Hi, I'm Sarah. And I'm Mike. We're not really game players, but we want to see if the Interactor will turn us on to gameplay. Okay, team. Go for it. It feels kind of like having a speaker taped to your back. <laughs> it's really muffled. I'm not really getting a feeling. It's all over my back. So it's, it's pretty lame. I feel like I'm in a popcorn machine. But it feels kind of cool, though. It's sort of like a vibrator, uh, a massager, it's sort of like a massager, that's what I meant. I find it almost distracting to my game. Even now, I notice it's getting irritating. Well, when I first heard it cost 110 bucks, I thought that would probably be a really cool um, price because of what you heard about it, but I think it's too much now that I've tried it. Well, what's the verdict, Team A? How about you, Team B? Well, I think both teams agree that the Interactor didn't really enhance their video game playing, and they wouldn't buy it. Has anyone seen the viewer letter? Thanks, 2-Bit. Today's viewer letter comes from Naomi Fisher-Smith of Grandview, Manitoba. She writes, Dear Street Sense, my friends are buying tapes from Columbia House, but is it worth it? Good question, Naomi. The Columbia House deal is you get 11 cassettes for a penny. Then you have to buy eight more at the club prices over the next three years. Let's do the math. We checked out prices at nine different record stores across Canada. If you bought 19 tapes, the average total price would be $221.16. If you bought 19 tapes from Columbia House, 11 for a penny and eight at club prices, the average total price would be $121.16. That's a saving of $100. But whether or not Columbia House is a deal if you keep buying from them could depend on where you live. The club's average tape price, including shipping and handling, is $13 to $16. So store prices in some cities might be cheaper. And with Columbia House, new releases aren't always available right away. You might have to wait as long as three months after music hits the record stores. And some artists don't want to be listed, so you'll never get their music through the club. If you join the club, we'll send you lots of flyers and catalogs. So expect tons of mail. If you've got something to say, write us. If you use your idea on the show. You'll get one of these nicely lettered Street Sense t-shirts. to make some money. Open. Close. Down. Hello, lackeys. Pompadour here. Hello, Hello Mr. Mr. Pompadour. Pompadour. I'm just coming down to oversee the shooting of our latest Bico TV ad. Well, don't just stand there. Get ready for me. <laughs> I love it when the lackeys panic. <laughs> So, you've just seen a great movie with great music. 
You go to buy the soundtrack, you expect to get the original music you heard in the movie. But instead, you get music that wasn't in the movie at all. Record companies call it songs inspired by the motion picture. Like this Speed soundtrack CD, about $20. Hello, Keanu? What do you want? Well, there are 12 songs on this Speed soundtrack, but only three are in the movie. The other nine aren't. What are you telling me for? I just thought you might want to know. And watch out for those barrels of water! Here's the Commitments, Volume 2 CD. About 20 bucks. Well, what are you not looking at? They're looking at this bleeding CD. Music from the original motion picture soundtrack, plus seven great new tracks. Seven out of 11. Why did you just do it? I want my career to take off. That's no excuse. Oh, well, let's all forget it and give each other a big hug. Face, no, 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 is also around 20 bucks. The CD says, a collection inspired by Sleepless in Seattle. And there's a picture of you and Meg Ryan on the front. Yeah. 13 songs. Guess how many are in the movie? I don't know. None. I'm so disappointed. Sounds like record companies are trying to cash in on a successful film by selling music that is inspired by the movie. Which inspires us to say that soundtrack albums full of songs that aren't even in the movie are fit for the pit. Damn, you know what I'm saying? With it. Morning with my homies, Will Finn John. Please, let's do the cash lash. Hi, this is my terribly charismatic friend, Chris, who plays the violin. <laughs> Hi, this is my terribly charismatic friend, Chris, who plays violin in our band, Big Picture. And this is Benny. He's an idiot. Sir. <laughs> and this is my friend, Ben. He's the lead singer for our band, Big Picture. Would you see the other day? don't have a recording you sort of always wish to do a video and but you want to get a recording first and now that we've got our CD out it's it's time for us to sort of uh, expand and go across the country and I think a video is uh, is the best idea basically what you want to do is look around your different film co-ops and uh, different film circles to find out who makes videos in your in your local town and basically we were lucky to find armadillo films here in town and uh, they had done a few video pieces that we liked just the other day I Next step, find the money. Armadillo told us how to get the cash to make our own video, and they helped us do it. Hey, hi guys. You guys? How are you doing? I think if you want to do a, a, a music video that's fairly complicated, you're looking probably uh, between 15 and 25, and more money if possible. But I mean, the first video I did was for seven thousand dollars, and it did really well. So there are two, two major grant agencies. One is uh, Video Facts, which is associated with much music, and the other is Factor, which is a, a government agency to assist uh, um, Canadian talent. For example, if Video Fact gives you $8,000, then um, Factor, if they like the, they like the creative dream, will, will match $8,000 to your number 16. What will a video mean for Big Picture? A video for Big Picture? Oh, quite simply, world domination. What makes a good rock video? The music. I like a funny video. Sabotage by the Beastie Boys. It's a good video. Really funny. I like any video as long as I like the song. Something that appeals to minds that makes you actually think about what's going on in the video. Just moshing around and stuff like that. See people going crazy on TV. Wouldn't it like this? Yeah. <laughs> you know what I, mean? I like videos that there's not a lot going on. Like they're playing an acoustic guitar sitting. I think a storyline makes a great rock video. I don't like rock videos. Storylines are the bops. Hello, competition. Just thought I'd pop in on your cute little consumer show and thank you. For what? 
for having such crummy ratings that almost everyone is watching Buy TV instead. You're welcome. And for giving me a brilliant marketing idea for my latest product, Bico Brew. This music theme you're using today seems to appeal to a youth market, so I've just created a new ad using hip tunes and rock video style shooting. In fact, I'm just about to run it on my network against Street Sense. Watch and learn. You're watching Buy TV. Have you got the guts? We've got the drink to give you the guts. Bico Brew. This guts for you. Excuse me. Yep, Pompadour here. Talk to me. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Aha. Later. Ah, music to my ears. Looks like my new Bico Ed is a smash success. Yeah, right. It only ran for the first time a few seconds ago. And already sales of Bico Brew have increased 85%. Guess I've got the magic touch. Yeah, but nothing you do ever works out. That was before. This year I'm efficient, powerful, and self-assured. How did you manage to change so much since last season? The writers put it in my character bible. So you better watch out. Ken Pompadour is now a worthy adversary to be reckoned with. It's weird that Ken's not a total loser anymore. Yeah, he's actually kind of scary now. Hope we can handle him this season. Uh, don't worry about it. He'll be back to his old self any time now. Yeah, yeah probably. Yeah, right. right. Please, I mean... Uh, Born a weasel, up. always a weasel. Exactly. If you've got something to say, write us at Street Sense, care of CBC TV, P.O. Box 3000, Halifax, Nova Scotia, B3J 3E9. Know what I'm saying? Or send us an email on the internet at streetsense at screen.com. Or you can check out our internet site at this address. Those fools underestimate my power. <sighs> this season I will crush Street Sense once and for all. <laughs> <laughs> Street Sense gets its major cash from the Canadian Bankers Association, with additional green from the Environmental Choice Program and Health Canada, the Royal Canadian Mint, and the Investors Group. Ha 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 